I'm Gary Wobbers with Ascend Business Strategies, trainer, coach, and speaker. Let's take a 3D look at conflict. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could simply get to the bottom of each and every conflict by simply wearing a pair of 3D glasses? Can you imagine how quickly conflicts could be resolved if it, you could instantly see all aspects of an issue and what to do to fix things? Reality is, there are no 3D glasses on the market today that will solve conflicts or even give insights into the issues. However, you can still get a three-dimensional look at conflict and you don't have to wear these silly glasses. As we discuss conflict this month, I am reminded of how bewildering conflict can be. Sometimes we can't really identify the root issue, let alone how to solve the conflict. I learned a long time ago, especially during the conflict I spoke about in last week's blog, you can break conflict down into three distinct dimensions. This is especially important for leaders as you consider the statistics reported recently in an ATT Ask.com survey. 81% of workers experience conflict on a consistent basis. 32% say conflict kills morale and increases turnover. 30% say productivity is the busy, biggest casualty of conflict. 30% say it destroys confidence in others' teams and distracts them from opportunities. This week, I want to share with you how to take any conflict and get to the root issue very quickly. You see, conflict has three distinct dimensions, and once you understand these, conflict takes on a whole new look. On essence, you get that 3D perspective. Now, let's discuss the three dimensions. They're broken down as follows. The first one is the cognitive dimension. This dimension deals with how each party involved perceives or thinks about the conflict. It is important not to overlook this by simply saying or believing that this is merely a perception problem. While that may be true, perceptions can easily get distorted. Solving any conflict first involving realizing a person's perspective of something is also their reality. Now, being successful in conflict resolution involves stepping into their reality and asking questions such as these. What data are they focusing on? What are they concluding about this data? What assumptions have they made and why? What motivates, what motives have they attributed to the other party? What data might contradict this perception? What would change each party's view of the problem? Now as you look at it, you can move a long ways towards peace when you take a few steps in the other person's perception of the issue. You know the saying, walk a mile in someone else's shoes? Let's talk about number two. It's the emotional dimension. The second dimension is where we examine feelings associated with the issue. Often people dismiss this area and move directly into a solution. This never works. It doesn't work because people first need to get past their emotions and their interactions associated with an issue before they can ever just get past the conflict. We can diffuse many conflicts by asking a few targeted questions. They are, what are they feeling about this conflict? What are the emotional triggers in place between the parties? How are those feelings affecting the feelings, perceptions, and behaviors of the other parties? What does this person need in order to release and let go of these feelings? Always deal with the feeling brought out by conflict. If the feelings aren't addressed properly, you will never resolve the conflict completely. 
Let's look at the third, third dimension. The third dimension is the behavior dimension. This final dimension deals with the actions of those involved. Often actions reveal the truth versus what a person is saying. By asking thought-provoking questions surrounding their actions, you can truly open the doors allowing for true communication and close the door on retaliation. Some questions might be something like this. What behaviors are escalating the conflict? What behaviors are de-escalating the conflict? What behavior triggers are in place? How are these feelings affecting the actions, feelings, and perceptions of the other party? What would you change and how is everyone behaving? Now we live in a world that has workplace violence is an all time high. If you take time to think through these questions, it is highly unlikely that an escalating conflict will occur in your workplace. There you have it, my friends. Next time conflict arises in your world, put on your mental 3D glasses and look deep, solving the conflict. If you want to improve your conflict resolution skills or those of your team, check out our website at www.goascend.biz or call us at 573-644-6655. As I leave you today, my challenge to you, give of yourself, love openly, and make a difference every day. Make it a great day. See you next week.